What's up guys, Solid Day Anthony, welcome back to a Honda vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully still remember. Because in today's video, I introduce you to something old, something new, something auctioned, and something blue. Let's go. Disco. guys so I proudly introduce you to my new to me 2011 Honda CRZ that I picked up at my local police auction for a grand total of $2,400. Now before we jump into this, a couple things I need to cover first uh, is where have I been? A lot of people have been wondering where the content's been for the past couple months. Uh, and long story short, I was spending time with my family uh, and then knocking out some projects that I had been putting off since summertime. So uh, with those done, I should be back to some more consistent content, especially with this new little project I have in front of me. Now, the other thing I wanna cover is that um, I didn't really talk about this, but I did hit 100,000 subscribers subscribers uh, just a couple months ago. I didn't want you guys to think that I had just kind of forgotten about that, uh, but I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that's made that possible, and I plan on making a dedicated 100K video um, when I can you know, find the time. So I just want you to know I appreciate all of you, and um, it's absolutely insane, and I couldn't be more happy uh, with the progress of the channel. All right, so back to this right here. Anthony, a Honda CRZ that has that badge on the back of it. What the heck are you thinking? Obviously, this is much different than what I'm used to, but it's one of those things that was, I think, meant to be. All the good things I've ever done have been things that have kind of fallen in my lap with time, right? I've waited for something good, something's fallen into my lap, and it's turned into something pretty damn cool. And I think that this car falls into that category. Now, going back a couple months ago, I mentioned that I was looking out for anything from an Integra to an RSX to a Prelude to a CRX to, I mean, literally everything within that 90s spectrum of Hondas. And to be honest, I had what could have been the worst luck ever. It was freaking rough out there. The market is not making anything easier for pretty much anyone, and the inventory that we're working with isn't the best to begin with. I mean, for an example, I went to go look at several different cars. I was in contact with 50 different sellers regarding different cars, and it wasn't just the cars that were bad. Again, it goes back to the sellers and the people and the lack of communication and all those things that make finding a new project car so frustrating. So really what I'm saying is that I really feel for everybody out there that's on the hunt for a project car, a Honda Civic, an Integra, whatever it may be, because guys, the prices are just absolutely insane and uh, almost not worth it, right? It's, it's, not a, it's not an affordable thing anymore and that's what's been really, really frustrating. So needless to say, this car, for 2,400 bucks was something that I could not pass up. Now the story in itself about this car is actually super interesting and I, I can't wait to tell you, but I have a lot to cover in this video, so I'll probably save that for a future video because again, most of my videos are pretty long-winded. So let's jump into this thing right here. So this was a police auction car that I bid on. I won for $2,400. It's a 2011 Honda CRZ with the highest trim model of being the EX Nav trim. This is the North Shore blue color that actually is quite pretty once it's cleaned up, but in its current state is pretty dang rough. Now, a couple things I'm gonna have to do right off the bat that you guys probably can notice is that I do have some clear coat failure up here, which is an ideal. I also have some clear coat failure here on the hood as well. And then this bumper has seen some shit in its day. And so I'm gonna have to figure out what my plan is for kind of getting this car back into one piece, going through my all day Anthony checklist of you know, things that I like to do, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. And then there's also some lower door damage and some lower quarter damage as well. 
Now, the Honda CRZ was this a car that I was looking for? Um, not necessarily, but when I saw it pop up at auction, it was something that I thought was super cool and kind of unique. And I've always really liked these cars. And when I first got this car, it actually wasn't running. So uh, again, I keep teasing the story. I'm sorry, but it is a really, really cool story. Um, needless to say, it's running now. So the CRZ, what is it? This was supposed to be the successor to the Honda CRX, which was a very uh, early 90s, late 80s uh, sport hatch a little basic little hot hatch is what it was but this right here was supposed to be a successor to that but was kind of a disappointment because Honda decided to make it a hybrid now what's interesting about the CRZ is that well yes it's a hybrid it is not an electric car it still has a combustion motor but it has an electric motor that produces a little bit of horsepower in itself and kind of helps the car move along and obviously be more of an economy gas saver car now with that said uh, it would have been pretty cool if Honda put a k24 in these because I really feel like this would have been a a super fun hot hatch uh, and a lot of people have swapped these cars and I know that people are probably in the comments right now k20 swap k20 swap I get it anyway my plan for this thing long term I have no idea short term I want to clean it up I want to fix it up I want to make it look a little bit nicer now again this is a 2011 Honda CRZ it's got hundred and twenty two thousand miles with a clean title believe it or not uh, crazy again for 2400 bucks man uh, you really can't beat it. So what about the interior, Anthony? Well, this is where I might lose some people. What is that? Okay, so yes, this is an automatic car. This is a CVT transmission here on the CRZ. Now these cars were actually one of the first sporty hybrids to come with a six-speed manual, which is super cool, but um, unfortunately, right, beggars can't be choosers. I got this for an extremely good deal, um, and the fact that it had an auto transmission didn't really kill it for me. It was one of those things where I'm like, you know, okay, I'll work with it because it's actually got a sport mode and it's got paddle shifters to where it makes it a little more enjoyable to drive, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit when we do go for a drive. Interior of this car, though, is in, um, I don't know okay shape. The seats are absolutely filthy. It's probably hard to tell on camera here, but there is stains all over them. So this is going to need a complete detail on the inside. But again, being the highest trim option that they gave for the CRZ with the nav system, this thing has some pretty cool little features. So uh, for example, the radio that I'll show you here in a little bit, uh, the subwoofer in the trunk. I mean, the stereo on this sounds absolutely Phenomenal. I'm not kidding when I say that. I already put some new floor mats in here just because it needed them. Uh, but this is going to need a, a, a really a, a full detail for the most part. And it's going to need to be cleaned up. Probably a couple pieces replaced if I can find some cheap stuff on eBay. The unfortunate part about the CRZ is that as cool of a little car that this thing is, it's kind of a niche market. I mean, it's one of those cars to where it obviously doesn't have the following that the Honda Civic has, of course, um, but it's something to where the people that love them absolutely love them and they modify the hell out of them and they make them look super, super cool. So um, before you judge me, I, I beg you, go onto Google, type in, you know, Honda CRZ modded. Uh, you'll see wide body versions of this car. You'll see uh, moving kits on this car. You'll see all sorts of cool stuff. I mean, they'll turbo these, they'll supercharge them. They'll do everything on this little 1.5 motor and it's quite hilarious. So uh, showing you here in the trunk, I thought this was pretty cool. This is probably the most mint area of the entire car. It's even got the original CRZ mat in the back. This is the sub right here. Um, and again, this thing bumps. Now this is a two seater. Um, it's got a shelf here in the back, no seat belts or anything like that. I think in Japan, I think they threw seats in here because well, you know, I don't really have to say it, but yeah, they threw seats in the back. And, um, but for here in America where we're uh, quite big, that's not going to work out for us. So um, overall though, not bad. All right, guys. So this is the heart of the beast. Uh, Honda's 1.5 IMA motor uh, produces roughly 120 horse, roughly around the same amount of torque. Um, the electric motor does produce a little bit of power as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but for the most part, this is just a little 
the heck? A little eco car. It does have some pep to it though. I think a couple of my friends that have driven this thing said that it's surprising that it's got the, the low end torque there just to kind of make it fun and interesting, uh, but it is by no means fast. So really, the six speed would be ideal. It would be fun in a perfect world um, for this particular project, but uh, I'm gonna work with the CVT. I'm gonna see what happens. I have a lot of followers that have automatic transmission cars um, or CVTs, and they wanna know, hey, what can I do to make this fun? Is it pointless? Is there anything I can do? And I think that there's a couple recommendations I can make to make this car uh, more enjoyable to drive and definitely more fun. So uh, yeah, nothing super exciting. This is dirty as hell. Again, it's been sitting for, uh, it was sitting for a year in the lot. So it's got some lot rot that I need to clean up, but I really think that I can detail this thing back to life and make it look uh, really nice. Anything else to cover before we go for a drive and then I can kind of talk about the plans for this thing, what I think I'm going to do, um, how long I'm gonna have it for, and kind of my uh, my plan from there. So uh, now let's just go ahead and jump in. All right, guys. So maiden voyage on the channel in the Honda CRZ. Now a couple of things that I thought are pretty interesting or kind of quirky about this car uh, before I get in is the fact that this one came with the OEM. Uh, blue lug nuts from Honda. That was an aftermarket accessory that you can get uh, where it's uh, definitely flaking off right now. Uh, but I thought that that was kind of an interesting little thing as well as having uh, four disc brakes, which is pretty cool as well. So uh, definitely different than the drums that I'm used to. Another cool thing is the Honda CRZ plate right here that actually illuminates. It's kind of a mix of this faux carbon fiber and some type of, it's metal. I might be able to polish that out and make it look pretty nice. But um, Anyways, so getting in here, it is a small car. It feels like a small car and it drives like a small car, but it is pretty quiet in here. It's, it's actually extremely quiet in here. So I think the plan is just go for a little drive and we're gonna talk about kind of what I'm thinking, right? I know a lot of people are probably confused by this and I get it. I'm also a little confused by this because again, this isn't the car that I really like wanted. I wasn't like after a CRZ, uh, but I thought it was such a cool opportunity and something fun that I can do on the channel for a little while, you know, clean it up, make it look nice, um, show people the process of kind of bringing something back to life and um, making some tasteful modifications. And so, you know, the things I do best. Key in the ignition, this guys is literally my favorite part of the car. The gauges on here are just, they're cool. Everything lights up there. It's really, really cool looking. And then over to the left here, we have a sport mode, which I've been using uh, quite literally on every single drive. You have the normal mode, which it kind of automatically refers to. And then you have your uh, economy mode, your eco mode. And then over here, uh, this is where like some of my other favorite parts, right? So the navigation system was, again, the highest trim model version of the CRZ. And even though it's what, uh, 10 years old, it's still pretty awesome. And I'm telling you guys, this sound system, dude, it, it it's good. It's really, really good. And uh, I wish you guys could be here in person to hear how good it sounds. But a uh, cool thing about this, bam. Sweet, right? I don't know, maybe I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. So um, anyways, navigation unit over here, you have a climate control, automatic climate control uh, with your mirror defrost, rear defrost, uh, your recirculating button, and then you have your front uh, defroster there. So um, controls on the uh, steering wheel. This is something I'm not used to other than uh, obviously a cruise control button. Uh, the Evo doesn't have anything. Uh, the Civic barely, actually doesn't, no, it's got the S2000 wheel, so that doesn't have anything. And uh, the Dodge Ram, it's got a cruise control button. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is the most high-tech vehicle that I own. This is nice. Feels like a luxury vehicle. I know people are probably laughing at me, but uh, it, it's pretty cool. So starting this thing up, um, almost inaudible. Um, but what's cool about this car too is that it also came with the uh, factory window sticker and uh, I thought that was pretty pretty sweet. So uh, I think window stickers show that this thing was $24,000 new um, and I got it for a tenth of that, which is pretty sweet. So, bam, awesome. Wonder if this guy's coming here to take photos too. Think so. Let's do, this is awkward. I don't normally do this kind of stuff on my channel, but I'm just gonna do it. 
Cool car. GTI? Yeah. Nice. I like the front mount on it, man. Thanks, I just got it on like two weeks ago. Did you? Yeah, we had to go through a lot of cool shit. Nice, are you doing a photo shoot? Yeah. It's the best spot, right? The walls? The walls, dude, photo, video, you just, just kind of, I don't know, you just uh, kind of mask out that, uh, the no parking signs, right, and you call it good. Dude, yeah. Sweet, is it pretty quick? Yeah. Yeah? It's it's, it moves, right? Sweet, man. Well, heck yeah, dude, have fun. You have, you have an Instagram for this thing? Uh, yeah, it's just my name, Brendan Ellsworth. Brendan Ellsworth. Brendan, B-R-E-N-N-A-N, and then E-L-L-S-W-O-R-T-H. Heck yeah, dude, it's pretty sweet. Thank you. Well, this isn't as cool as that, but, you know, I took some... It from point A to point B, right? It does. It gets pretty good gas mileage, too. Yeah, well, like, I, like, I'll film some stuff every once in a while for, like, videos and stuff, but yeah. nothing super exciting. Dude, heck yeah, man. See ya. Have a good one. You too. All right, anyway, so we're taking off here, and uh, we're in normal mode, drive mode. This is pretty much just the, uh, I don't know, this is standard mode. You put it in this thing, it's not super exciting. So I click this sport button, and it makes it quite a bit more exciting. It really does. I'm not just saying that. Um, it's really cool because basically when you switch between sport and eco mode, it changes uh, the color of the dash. So once you click the sport, everything switches over to red. And then when you click the eco, everything switches pr primarily to green. Now, one thing that I have not gotten used to on this car is the auto stop feature. Uh, not a fan, not, I hate that. I, I honestly, I really, really do hate that. So um, I keep the defroster on because apparently it deactivates that from, uh, from happening. All right, I'll put this thing in second. Oh shit, I just sped past a cop there. Well, <laughs> I mean, I sped past him in my economy, in my economy CRZ, so I guess I, I didn't break any speed limits. That's hilarious. I mean, the thing is basically a GTR. Shifts like a GTR, kind of even looks like a GTR at certain angles. So, I mean, save yourself some money. Those cars are super overrated anyways, and just get yourself a CRZ. I mean, you'll be much happier. And you're gonna get great gas mileage. It's the most important thing. All right, so earlier in the video, I mentioned a checklist of things I like to do when it comes to buying a car and modifying it. Uh, so the first thing I like to do is to obviously find a car for cheap, right? Find a car for a really good deal, um, and this is a good example of that, finding a car for 2,400 bucks, uh, when normally it should be about three times that price. So finding a good car for cheap. The next step is to make sure that that car is mechanically sound. Make sure it can get you from point A to point B. And you wanna kind of assess that when it comes to buying the car, right? If you're buying a car that's not running, do you think you can fix it? So that's a huge thing, right? Knowing that you can fix it. And then once the car is running, that's when you can really start assessing things, really knowing whether or not this is a car that you actually wanna work on and keep pursuing. So the next step would be to start cleaning it up and start fixing things that are visually wrong with it. Because if you've got a mechanically sound car, uh, you don't want a car that has a ton of eyesores on it and you kind of want to address those. So in this case, it's going to be paintwork, it's going to be dents, dings, and things like that. Then after that, I'm going to have a mechanically sound car that looks pretty dang good, right? And I'm still hopefully under budget and hopefully I'm still doing all this for a pretty dang good deal. So once that's done, that's when you can kind of assess what the next step is, right? Is that car worth modifying? Is it something that you want to modify? Do you wanna keep it in just a clean state and use it as a daily? You know, what is your plan from there? And that's really kind of up to you. You know, you have to choose that for yourself. So in this car's case, I kinda of have to get to that point for myself and see whether or not it's gonna be worth it once I start calculating the cost of everything else I'm gonna to do to make this car clean. So from there, that's when uh, the mod shopping kind of begins, right? Doing research and figuring out, you know, what are some good visual mods? Mods, what are some performance mods? What's something that I'd want to do that's still realistic? Uh, that's not going to be 
you know, super out of this world, right? I think a lot of people get in over their heads when it comes to uh, mods and they have half finished projects. So it's something that's reasonable and something that you feel like you can do. So um, in this case, I think some cheap stuff would be going onto eBay and seeing uh, what kind of lip kits are available for this car, you know, a spoiler for this car, things like that, and then getting those color matched. So in my research, uh, it seems like the Mugen kit on this is really popular and looks freaking awesome. Obviously, I'd be going with the replica kit because I'm trying to save that money. And then probably even throw on the spoiler as well because I do think that spoiler looks uh, pretty badass. It really does. It definitely makes it look less Prius-y uh, from the rear. So I don't know, we'll kind of see from there. Uh, and then from there, really suspension stuff, right? So lowering the car, uh, I think this car handles good as it is right now, but I think throwing on coils will not only look good, but it'll probably um, help with the handling. And then it's wheels and tires. And at that point, I think I would have a pretty respectably clean car with how I do things. All right, so I thought I'd take you guys to a little bit of a twisty section here just to see how the car handles. Honestly, I've only had the car for like two days, so I haven't put a ton of miles on here, and the tires are kind of sketch, so they, they have a little bit of dry rod on them, so I don't want to push the car too hard, but I did want to take it up here just to see what the car feels like. So I got it in sport mode right now, give it some downshifts. Feels pretty good, man. It's responsive. Like even just being paddle shifting mode, I feel like it's quick enough to get me where I want to be. All right, guys, well, car did pretty good. That was fun. Overall, it's a cool car, man. It really, really is. Like I said, it just needs a couple things and I think it'll really kind of set it off. But um, yeah, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see one step at a time. First thing I need to do is get some of the stuff resprayed. That's, that's gonna get fixed regardless of what I do with this car. It just, I can't stand dents. I can't stand clear coat failure. It just, it just kind of kills me. But, uh, oh, this is interesting. So whatever this hit, whatever they did to fix it, they threw some wood screws here in the bottom. And this is cracked. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's got a hole in it. Holy shit. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty wasted. But yeah, fun. That and then the dents on the side. Those are, those are pretty horrendous as well. So... We'll see, one step at a time. CRZ, baby, we're gonna see what happens. Sorry, it's getting a little windy here. All right, guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Again, I apologize about the hiatus, but thank you guys all for sticking around. I'm glad to be in another Honda project. Um, we'll see what happens with this thing. Really, it's, it's kind of up in the air, and so I am open to ideas. If you guys have any ideas, drop them down in the comments below. There is not a ton of CRZ content out on YouTube, uh, so we'll see what we can do, right? And uh, we'll make this fun. We'll make this thing look pretty badass. Uh, the Red Civic is not going anywhere, don't worry. That's still gonna be featured, um, as well as I have some stuff for the Evo, and I also have stuff for the Dodge Ram, of, of all things, that I need to cover as well. So, anyways, that's the update. This is the new digs. So I'm gonna go rip on some more mountain roads and blast some music from the sound system, because honestly, I'm having a blast driving this car. So as always, if you guys wanna see more of the CRZ content, more of the Honda Civic content, or whatever the heck else you wanna see, Make sure to hit that big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's all to Anthony. Peace.